everybody. This week we're starting to talk about birds. So I have a really cool book called The Bird Alphabet Book. And I'm wearing my fancy bird earrings. Here's A. Ah is for Atlantic Puffin. Atlantic Puffins have colorful beaks. They live on the ocean almost all year. When they nest on land, they are found in groups called colonies. B. B is for bat. Hey, wait a second. Bats are not birds. Bats are mammals. Even though they have wings and they can fly, they do not have feathers. Get out of this book, you bats. Now that the bats are gone, let's find a bird who begins with the letter B. B is for blue-footed booby. Boobies are seabirds. They can be found eating fish, which they catch by diving into the ocean. The other bird on this page is the red-footed booby. Can you see it? C K is for crocodile bird. Crocodile birds fly right into the open mouths of crocodiles. They eat the leftover food around the crocodile's teeth. The bird always has something to eat and the crocodile has clean teeth. That sounds like a good partnership. D, D is for duck. There are many different kinds of ducks. There are wood ducks, mallards, pintails, black ducks, harlequin ducks, canvasbacks, ruddy ducks, mask ducks, redneck duck, ringneck ducks, and many more. E, eh, is for eagle. These eagles are bald eagles, but they are not really bald. Their heads are covered with beautiful white feathers. The bald eagle is the national emblem of the United States, and it can be seen on the back of a quarter and on a dollar bill. F, F is for flamingo. Flamingos have very long necks and very long legs. Their beaks are curved, and sometimes they like to stand on one leg. G. G is for gosling. Goslings are baby geese. When they are young, they like to follow their parents around. The birds on this page are called Canada geese. H is for hummingbird. Hummingbirds are tiny birds that fly really fast. Their long beaks are perfect for sucking nectar out of flowers. You see, they have a really long, skinny beak. I, I is for indigo bunting. The male indigo bunting is beautifully bright blue from its head to the tip of its tail. The female is plain colored so that it's hard, for, hard to find the nest, so that it is hard to find when it sits in the nest. Right? It can just blend in if it's that color. J. J. Hmm. Is for Jacana. Wow. What big feet. They have feet that are just right for standing on lily pads. They're also called lily trotters. K. K is for kiwi. The kiwi is a bird that cannot fly. It has wings, it lays eggs, and it has a beak, and it has feathers, just like the other birds. But if it wants to go somewhere, it's gotta walk. L. L is for lovebird. These birds are very colorful. They are called lovebirds because they like to sit close together. They usually look like they're hugging and kissing each other. M. M is for meadowlark. Meadowlarks build their hard to find nests on the ground. People love meadowlarks because they sing cheerfully for hours at a time.
N. N. N is for Northern Cardinal. This is one of the few birds that is almost entirely red. Sometimes it is simply called a red bird. O. Ah. O is for Oyster Catcher. This bird is able to stick its beak into oysters and clams and pry them open. It lives near coastal mud flats where it can find plenty of shellfish to eat. P is for penguin. Penguins cannot fly in the sky, but it is fun to watch them swim because it looks like they're flying when they're underwater. Q, qua. Q is for quetzal. A quetzal is a bright green bird with an extremely long tail. It is found in Central America. Because there are so few of these birds, they are considered to be an endangered species. R. R is for roadrunner. Roadrunners can fly when they want to, but they usually prefer to run. Roadrunners live in the desert and they chase and catch little lizards for food. S. S is for spoonbill. Can you believe it? This bird has a bill that looks just like a spoon. The baby spoonbills do not grow their wide spoon-shaped bills until they get older. T. T is for toucan. The toucan has a very long and wide beak. Its beak is so big that you might think a toucan would not be able to fly. However, the beak is really not very heavy. U. A uh, is for umbrella bird. This is a black jungle bird. The feathers around the top of its head are shaped like an umbrella. But when it rains, the umbrella does not keep its head dry. V. V is for vulture. Vultures have hardly any feathers on their heads. Maybe vultures are the birds that should be called bald. <laughs> w. W is for white face scops owls. This owl lives in Africa. It hides in trees waiting for a chance to swoop down on insects and other small creatures. Owls make very little noise when they fly. X. X. Well, it's probably X is for Xenops, but it starts with an X. This is probably the only bird whose name begins with an X. Unlike most birds, Xenops has a beak that is curved upwards. It goes boop. Y. Y is for yellow bellied sapsucker. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is a woodpecker that got its crazy name because it drinks sap out of its favorite trees. It has a tongue and a brush-like tip. Z. Z is for zillions of zebra finches. These Australian birds have pretty black and white striped tails. There we are at the end of the alphabet a big peacock with a baby for some reason. The end. I hope you enjoy the alphabet of birds. See you later. Yeah.